good morning good evening good afternoon whatever time it is that you were checking this video out it is january 26th 2024 i can't believe we're in 2024 but i'm near bloomsburg the only town in pennsylvania did you know that uh i am going to be checking out as many cover bridges as i can i have pretty much all day to kill because mike is over at the early bird outdoor expo at the fairgrounds so i have pretty much all day to uh check out what there is to see out here in this part of the state boy oh i thought that was gonna be a close one but we're heading to our very first cover bridge i've already been to the rupert one which is just below the uh fairgrounds so we're gonna head to the one that's north of 80 and north of bloomsburg so let's go So I just arrived at the first cover bridge. I've actually been to this one, but I forgot the name until I pulled up. I'm like, oh, I know this one. Wanik? Wanich? Wainich? Don't know quite how to pronounce it, but I'm, like I said, I'm just north of Bloomsburg on PA 42. Got somebody else coming. All right, so I've arrived at the first cover bridge. I've actually been here before, but I didn't know the name or knew how uh, how to quite get here until I pulled up. I'm like, oh, I've been here before. So this is Wainik, Wainich, Wanich, Wanik. I don't quite know how to say it, but it's number 69, and that's Fishing Creek. It's been raining. And the uh, snow's pretty much melted, so the water's up a little bit. If I can back it up. There we go. Got somebody else coming. Busy road. I'm going to take some pictures, save the video for the my phone, and uh, I'll post pictures of it in the video or at the end of all the bridges. But, yeah. Pretty cool when uh, you get to see a cover bridge. Quite, uh, you, quite, I don't know how to say this. Used quite often, I guess. Because whenever I come to see a cover bridge, usually it's one or two cars and that's it. So far I've seen four cars. There'll probably be more while I'm here. I'm just north of Millville. I'm still in Columbia County. This is Shoemaker Bridge. Obviously, no vehicles can go across. I have to check that out in a minute. There we go. Take some of the other. They're a little wet because of the weather. I find it really. That one's good. That's cool. I have one of the Susquehanna Valley. Now I have one for Columbia Montour County. Let's see here. I'm going to open this one up real quick. Let's see here. Yeah, this one will show you pretty much all the ones you're at. Uh, let's see here. Shoemaker. Yeah, that a little better. 
Trying to do it one handed. Oh, come on. See, I was at this one. I've been to this one. This one's one of the famous three bridges. This one has the Rupert Bridge, then it goes River Bridge, the Old Lackawanna North Shore, and the Reading Bridge. Because the Reading and the Lackawanna paralleled right there. I, I believe it was Reading. So yeah, I've been to this one. Just came from that one. I've been there too. What we are going to do, let's see if I can open it even better. So I'm going to try to get all these, so I need to get these ones. I'm going to see if I can get around to going over to these ones. And I want to go toward Berwick and get this one. Because, let's see here. Yeah, Knobles Grove, of course, that one. Almost everybody's been to that one if you've been to Knobles. There's, this one should be just outside. No, this one should be in the park. There's one that's in the park, and there's one right outside the park. And I've been to, I think, all these. But I might hit them today. But you got, let's see here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23. Cover bridges. But there is one. I'll have to check the map. What I have on Google Maps pinpointed and this map. There's one that they don't have listed on Google Maps as, a you know, the historical marker ones. See, I think that's cool. I want to see this one. I've, I've never really seen one designed with such a big top and then this across it. That one is really cool. That should be... Where is this one? That is... Is this one? That one might be near the campsite for Knobles. There's a campsite away from the park. I think that might be the one. So, let's see here. This is a Queen's Port. Queen's Post. It goes up like this and it has the pieces that are still straight. So, yeah. Because that last one was a burr arch. This is a Queen's Post. King Post. I'll have to check that out. I don't think I've ever seen one of them. Oh, there was 23, 24, 25, 20, 25. Okay, I thought there was another one. I just saw that. Yeah, I'll have to show you the, the, uh, map I have of the uh, covered bridges of the Susquehanna Valley which is pretty much farther south of Sunbury. But I'm going to check out this place do a little bit more video. I know this one dragged on a little longer than I wanted. I hear pretty bird. Oh, you seen him. Hi guys. PA-42 is in the background, pretty much right over there. I'm on West Branch Creek, I think it's called. So yeah, this, I don't know where uh, Fishing Creek went, but um, this is West Branch Creek. A little stream right there, underneath us. So, I am at Sam Ekman, bridge number 92. It's a muddy road to get here. It's pretty much kind of like what this is, but with a lot of potholes about halfway here. This is another one I've been to with Mike. This one is probably the queen post because of how it goes up like this. Like, see, like that. And then you got pieces in the middle, you get across right there. The last spot, I was actually just off of PA 442. I had to get off of PA 442 to get on back on 42 to get here. So, yeah, location correction right there.
yeah, I came from that direction and it was pretty much potholes, dirt ones. There's a little bit of ice still hanging around. Got some up there. But yeah, this is Sam Ekman Covered Bridge, number 92. Like I said, photos to come um, either right after this or at the end. This is probably going to be a long video. I'm going to make it more than one part probably. And uh, I'll probably do a video of me talking about what the uh, brochure I got from the last bridge says for each of the bridges that I visited today. Alright, next bridge is Judd Christian, number 95. It was about a couple miles down the road from the last one. If you're taking this road on a wet day, be careful because there's a lot of potholes. So, yeah, take her easy. But anyways, Judd Christian, it looks like another Queen Post bridge. I like the uh, little wall they have on each end. I don't know what stream this cover or this goes across. Let me back up a little bit. But another Queen Trust. I'd like to see a King Trust, but I haven't seen one yet. It's really nice and smooth when I hit the got on the bridge. I'm like, oh, I'm on the bridge, because yeah, that's very nice. Very nice. Maintain dirt road for right. That's for right there. I believe I've been to this one as well. Probably most of these ones on this side of the county I've been to. But I added it to my little day trip. couple miles down the road I am at Creasyville number 97 I believe I'm on the same stream another Queen Trust Next stop, south of Benton. I'm at Stillwater Bridge number 134. This is probably that burr truss style. I'll have to put it in the uh, description of what kind this one is. Because it's got like that arch. That's why it's, that the garage was painted that way. Another covered bridge 
brochure stop and a guest book. That's cute. I can't remember what road I was on. That's the bridge I was on, so I don't know what route number it is. To put that in the description too. Built in 1849 at the cost of $1,124. Very cool. Twin bridge. This one's uneven on the bottom. Feels really weird walking on stuff like this. Oh, I love this one. I thought this little church was interesting because it looks like the entrance would be in the middle. Quick walk over to it. Yeah, so I thought it was interesting. The, the main door is in the middle, but look how it's designed. It's like it's right down the door's in the middle of the, the building. It's really interesting. There's Stillwater Bridge. So this is the description according to the Columbia Montour map that I picked up earlier. This goes with the part one of my part two videos for this day trip because it was so long I figured I'd just cut it into two videos to be easier. Plus with adding some photos I think I would be better off doing two videos. So we're going to start off with the first bridge. Wanich, I'm going to go with, I'm just going to go with Wanich. It's located on Little Fishing Creek between Hemlock and Mount Pleasant Townships in Columbia County. And uh, it can be found on Township Route 493 off State Route 42, which is PA 42, north of Fernville in Bloomsburg. George Russell built the Wanich Bridge in 1844 at a cost of $500. I think that one is the cheapest bridge I've ever seen built. The bridge was named after John N. Winnich, who was a farmer that resided in nearby. The truss is a burr truss. So that one is what I believe is the more known type of cover bridge. Shoemaker Bridge spans the West Branch Run, which flows into Little Fishing Creek in Pine Township, Columbia County. Turn left off State Route 442 onto Chestnut Lane. Travel literally 300 feet. It's a stone's throw away. And turn left onto Shoemaker Covered Bridge Road. This bridge was built in 1881 by T.S. Christian at a cost, which I was surprised to a point, at $322. So that makes the cheapest built uh, Cover bridge, I think because it's so short, you know, so small. It's named after Joseph Shoemaker, a nearby farmer and lumberman. The truss is a queen post. Now that's the lo a little bit longer version of the king post that I showed you in the previous little clip. Uh, that one, I think in that little binder, it shows it being built or redone and I didn't get pictures of it, but I did take a look at it and I kind of wish now that I took a, at least some pictures of it, but wasn't thinking about that at the time. Next up is Sam Ekman Bridge. It is located on Little Fishing Creek between Pine and Greenwood Townships in Columbia County. It can be found on Township Route 548 north of Millville and Lola near County Route 4031, 
This bridge was built in 1876 at a cost of $498 by Joseph Redline and is named after Samuel Ekman. Mr. Ekman was a prominent local businessman who operated a farm shingle mill and birch oil factory. Now that I've never heard of before. He later established the Millville Creamery. The truss is a queen post. Next up is Judd Christian Bridge. It also crosses Little Fishing Creek between Pine Township and Jackson Township and is located on Township Route 685 between County Route 431 and 439, north of Millville and Lola as well. Built in 1876 by William L. Manning for a whopping $239. It is named after a nearby farmer and lumberman, Jed Christian. The bridge is in near perfect condition. The stone and mortar abutments are solid. The wood ribbing of the roof is uniform. The wooden pegs or trunnels, T-R-U-N-N-E-L-S, I believe I'm spelling it right, are still in evidence. And the wall covering is in excellent condition. This truss is as well a queen's post. Next up is Creasyville Bridge. It crosses Little Fishing Creek between Jackson and Pine Township in Columbia County. It is located between Township Route 683 and County Route 4031, my bad, north of Millville and Lola. Pretty much all of these three in a row are like, like I said, one, two, three. This bridge was built in 1881 by T.S. Christian for a cost of $301 25 cents. It is located near Durr's Sawmill and is thought to have first been known as Durr's Bridge. D-E-R-R -R, and you know that possibly S. This truss, of course it's a queen post. Next bridge is the Stillwater Bridge. This bridge is located on Big Fishing Creek and the borough Stillwater after which it was named. It can be found on Township Route 629 and east of State Route 47, which is just below Benton. This bridge was built in 1849 by James McHenry at a cost of $1,124. McHenry's family was among the first to settle in the Stillwater area. The McHenry family is perhaps best known for their whiskey making and founded the McHenry Distillery business. Can't quite say that name for some reason. This truss is a bird truss bridge. Next up is 